I'm Tom McDonald from TMSI Telephony Managed Solutions. I'm going to do video number five. In my first four videos, I was explaining to you a little bit about our products and services and how you can read a phone bill, how to look out for some of the pitfalls, so 10 things you need to know about your phone bill from TELUS or Bell in Canada or even Verizon or AT&T in the States. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know so that you can be careful and watch out for some of the pitfalls and expenses with your telephone communications expense, which is frequently the second or third most expensive uh, thing you're going to incur in running a business. Today I'm going to talk to you about a TELUS bill. Yesterday on my video I explained to you how I would uh, tell, tell you how to get out of a contract with TELUS. Now let me explain a little bit of background on that. And then on my next video, I'm going to show you the contract, which I have right here. TELUS is, uh, used to have 100% of the monopoly, and so did uh, Bell, on all the lines. They did every single line that uh, was provided to a business and a residence. And as I explained before, competition came in, and the monopolies had to give up um, some of the regulation and some of their revenues. So uh, the government regulations have laxed and allowed competition to come in in certain areas. Right now, the competition is pretty fierce in cellular, cellular and mobile, but it's also getting quite wrapped up in the business uh, line side of things as well. And uh, that's because there's a lot of savings that can be done on business lines. Now, TELUS recognizes this, and so does Bell. And of course, what their marketing people are doing are tying people up on contracts as long as they can. Usually, the minimum contract length that you would sign for is 12 months. You can go month to month. You have to ask for it. If you go for 12 months, Here's the catch. They auto-renew the contracts. And I'll explain to you and I'll show you about that in this contract on the next video. But they auto-renew the contract. No one thing. If you auto-renew your contract, you must be able to get out of it. And the way to get out of it is to make sure that the auto-renewal doesn't occur. And I'm going to show you how to do that. It's an 11-page contract. Even if you get one business line from your local exchange carrier, like TELUS, it's an 11-page contract. It's pretty amazing, but that's how they keep their revenue stream up. Now, what I want you to do is look at my videos, go to my website, www.tmsi.ca, when you get a chance, and have a look and see a lot of the other things we do. And if you log on and register with your email address, I'll give you all the videos that I have in this package and all my other packages at no extra charge for you. So stay tuned for video number six because it's going to come up and I'm going to show you how to break or get out of a TELUS contract. That was easy.